Hey guys, today we're back with another gun review, and today we'll finally be doing the range review on American Guncraft Diablo 12 gauge black powder pistol. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back once again today. We're going to be reviewing the American Guncraft Diablo 12 gauge black powder pistol. This is a, a pistol that's been pretty uh, pretty interesting lately. We actually got it to do a review from uh, American Guncraft and uh, I've been really looking forward to this. been trying to set it up for a few, uh, for a few months now. Uh, this pistol itself has been a very popular item on the internet. Whenever it first came out, a lot of people didn't believe that it was actually real because as you all know with uh, the ATF uh, standing, you can't have a, a 12 gauge uh, shotgun in uh, a six inch barrel because it'd just be illegal. But how this actually works is that it is a black powder pistol, so it doesn't actually use modern day ammunition, meaning that it's not actually considered a firearm by ATF standards. So you can pretty much take this thing and mail it straight to your house. So a lot of people thought that it was very interesting. I think it's very interesting myself. And uh, like this doesn't even have a serial number on it, I don't think. So, you know, everything's legal. You can mail this exactly straight to your house. And it, these right here will run you about $550. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, whenever it comes to loading these, it's really not that, uh, that difficult we're going to go and uh first we'll start out with some actual uh seven shot we've got everything right here actually that we need right now we have some nitro cards and uh we'll go through everything and how to properly put this in here but it starts out with the nitro cards we also got the overshot cards we got some one ounce slug some ffg uh, black powder your muzzle loading uh, primers the 209s is what this use and as you can see this is what they look like and we, and we got some 7 8 uh, shot shells and field shot. And you also need to have a uh, measuring uh, device. This right here can measure all the way up to 170. Actually, it's a 200, my bad. But most time in these, you'll, uh, I think the manufacturer actually calls for between, um, I think it was 60 grains is the most that they want to call for. But now I've seen it online pushed to 150. We might get a little hot with it today, but uh, we'll start out, you know, about around 60, 70, something like that. So we'll go ahead and uh, get us loaded up right now. First off, you always will start out with black powder. As you can see, with this right here, I probably should have got a funnel, but it's kind of easy just to do this right here. Overload it a little bit and then unscrew this and fill it all the way to the top until we figure out. Right now we have right at 70 grains. So as you can see, we'll take, we'll load this right now into the right barrel. Next off, we'll take a overshot card. This keeps everything, all the black powder down in there. Okay, can you put this down in there? And this also comes with a tamp from factory so you don't have to buy your own tamp. Okay. Next, you will put the nitro card, one eighth inch, 12 gauge. A little bit rough to get down in here. This will be uh, the thing that compacts it down a little bit. All right, next we'll do the actual shot we're gonna be putting in it. This is the seven ace, once again. Actually, first let's load the, let's load the other barrel first full of uh, black powder before we get ahead of ourselves so we can have the double shot right off the bat. And like I said earlier, this has been a very, uh, very popular gun on the internet. Uh, right here, we're now up to 70 on this one, so we'll put this one in the left side. Try not to get it all over the place. Uh, but yeah, this has been a very popular uh, pistol, or black powder pistol, if you want to call it that. On the internet for a while, I remember whenever it first came out, it caught a lot of uh, people's eyes just because of how it looks. I mean, you really have never seen nothing like this for my life, if I, besides maybe like the 12 gauge uh, shock waves and everything like that that Remington and uh, and uh, Mossberg had come out with. Not that I always thought that was a pretty interesting concept, but. There 
go. They sure are compact down in there good, but uh, go ahead and we'll fill this full right now, about 70 grains of shot. Try not to get these all over the place either. There we go. Hold this one in the right. Go ahead and put a shot card on top of this. Just keeps everything held in so it don't come out the end of the barrel. Now we are currently fully loaded in that one. We're gonna take a one eighth or a uh, ounce slug round ball and put in this other one. Y'all can see the difference. Once again, we have I think 70 grains in each. We'll just take it and drop it down in there. And then we will take another shot card, place it on this. Alrighty, we're now fully loaded in both barrels and I will go ahead and put on my ear protection. And this is where you will start to put in the actual muzzle loading primers. Once again, these are 209 primers that this takes. It's uh, good just to put these in last overall, just for uh, safety concerns. Right now. Once again, real quick before we put these in here, uh, you're supposed to keep this thing on half cock, as you can see right now. And this is a selector switch. If you have it to the right, then um, if you have this to the right, the left barrel will shoot. And if you have it to the left, right barrel will shoot. Very, very, uh, you can see, a very, uh, you know, simple design, which simple works a lot of the times very well. But uh, you're supposed to keep it on half cock. That's the safest way to do it. So we'll go ahead and step up here. We will now put the primers in. It's as simple as put them in right here. Okay, once again, we will just go ahead and close it up. And as a disclaimer, it's always good to wear ear protection, no matter, and it's always good to wear eye protection, but with this, 100% always wear eye protection. As you will see, it throws stuff all over the place. So we'll go ahead and shoot the uh, seven eighth shot first. There was it. Now we'll go ahead and switch over to the one out slug. <laughs> this boys and girls is a is a uh, fun thing. You can see the smoke coming off the end of it. <laughs> you uh, you can sure have some fun with this, as you can see it's already all over the place. But now the only thing you have to do is take and and uh, pull these primers out. Most of the time they come out right there in your hand. Let's see here. We can get, I ain't got no fingernails or nothing. Go ahead and see if we can get her pulled out right here. Let's see here. Let's see if I got a knife on me right here. I believe the cameraman might have a knife on him. So as you've seen, that one fell out pretty easily, this one right here. There we go. Oh, well, we thought we had her out. There we go. All righty, we'll go ahead and load her up again. Uh, next time we will uh, load both of them up with the one ounce slug shot. And uh, we will hit Mr. Snowman over there in the center. So, guys, uh, just to save uh, save time on camera, we'll go ahead and cut it right here. We'll get everything loaded back up, and I will see you all in a few seconds. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we've got this loaded up. Once again, we got uh, one ounce slug in each barrel, and uh, we've got 70 grain of uh, black powder in it. 
So we'll go ahead and get our 209 primers out. Get them rocking and rolling right here. It doesn't take long once you get good with this to load everything up. And uh, that's a pretty pretty good part of it really is that, you know, uh, it really don't take that long. And after you get used to it, like I said, you can do, you can actually start to reload these pretty quickly. So uh, we'll go ahead and put these primers on here and here. And uh, once again, it will be 70 grains of one ounce slug. And uh, here we go. There's both of them. We'll go ahead and load these out right here if we can. First one looks like we hit around the side and it shot all the way through and blowed out. And here's the other one, and this is a uh, I believe maple woods uh, oak. oak oak wood. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty rough as you can see right there. Is that's as deep as it, and it's still in there. So that's pretty deep and and. Here's the side shot on this one again. We'll look at it. It blowed out the side and kept on trucking. So you could see how close we was right there. It's a, uh, it's something for sure. And that was with uh, just 70 grains. So you could probably, I mean, like I said, I've seen it loaded up to 150 online and uh, it, uh, it sure did do some damage with them. So uh, 70 grain will sure get the job done but uh we'll go ahead and reload it we've got some uh, slow motion video coming up so stay tuned all right guys we're set up with the final shot of the day once again we got the final uh we got the same shot we had a minute ago the seven eighth uh shot in uh, about 70 grain of uh, black powder and we've got our slow motion camera set up let's see what happens let's check that out in slow motion all right guys you can see that's how the cookie crumbles right there but uh you know this is a this is a very interesting gun i've actually had a lot more fun with it than i thought i would uh it's it's just it's something it's it's different that's about the only really way that you can put it uh is there a use in this gun yeah, if you if you got good enough with it with them one inch uh, or one ounce of slug shots, I'm for certain that you could easily kill a deer with it if you uh, got uh, good enough with aiming and everything. But uh, you know, this gun really overall is just something to have fun with, and and for the price of it and how little you have to put into it to have uh, have some shots together and just the fun of overall loading it and shooting it and just watching all that uh, come together is really the big uh, part. Of what makes this gun. Uh, as fun as it is but guys i appreciate y'all viewing if you have any questions or comments leave them in space below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible but we plan on having a range review just seeing how long uh, we can actually get some accurate shots out with this little pistol and maybe we might uh, end up pushing it to its limits and seeing what we can uh you know getting a little bit hotter with some other stuff but now at 70 grains with that one ounce slug we was uh, i mean i sure feeling some pretty decent kick with it but uh, this gun's very very well built and uh, I've really, I've really enjoyed this thing more than I thought I would. So if you're looking to get it, uh, you can go to AmericanGunCraft.com. You can pick it up there, and uh, you can just search it on the internet, on Google or whatever else, and you can find it. It comes in uh, this nickel finish, comes in the black finish, and this nickel finish or black finish can also come with the black grips or uh, rosewood grips. So either or would be a very nice pick. But guys, I appreciate y'all viewing, like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I will see you all in the next video. Ha, 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 ha.